What did you think of the pitching the last two days uh, and the way that they bounced back from, from the performance Friday? Yeah, I mean, they were phenomenal. It started with Zeb yesterday um, coming out there and doing what he did. Um, you know, just showing the younger guys how to do it. And um, that was huge for us. And then today we had a really good start by Lockhart and gave us everything he had. And then, you know, Kevin came in here and does what Kevin does and gave us solid outings, solid innings. Um, Wiggins came out and it was awesome to kind of see him face a little adversity. That's what he needs. It's not so easy in the SEC. And he bounced back phenomenally to, um, after that home run and showed a lot of maturity. I think it was a one-two pitch and you went the other way on your RBI hit in the sixth inning. Uh, can you take us through that at bat and, and what your approach was there on that pitch? Um, yeah, I saw him throw a lot of off speed early to a lot of hitters and late. And so, you know, I was still hunting the fastball. Um, I was going to be on that no matter what. And then if I caught a breaking pitch out in front, I was going to take it that way. But, um, you know, I missed the fastball. I think it was the one, one count. And so, you know, I just I battled up and I was going to, you know, be aware of the curveball that he's been throwing, but still stay on that heater. And then he threw me, you know, backdoor curveball and I was able to get the barrel to it. And then Kevin Cobb, he struggled in the season opener down in Arlington. And, and then since that point, uh, he's, he's pitched pretty well. What have you thought about his efficiency? I think he had 41 yeah. pitches and 10 outs today. Yeah, Kevin was great. Um, Kevin's always been great. Hi, right, Kev. <laughs> um, but no, he's he's a veteran guy also. You know, he, he knows what he wants to do in there, and he's not too worried about what hitters in the box. He's just he wants to throw his stuff and his pitch, and that's what's going to get guys out. So that was that was huge for him to come in and do what he did today. Sorry if I'm out of it. I got the hogs rolling on my phone right now. Hutch. Yeah, Casey, I think there in the ninth, uh, it may have been after his walk, but you went out and talked to, to Jackson on the mound. What, what was your message to him, and, and what, did, what did he do after that to, to get back on track? Um, you know, I don't think he was too off track to begin with. The guy had a really good A.B. that hit the homer off him. You know, he's a veteran dude who's been around. Um, just saw a lot of fastballs, saw a lot of pitches, got into a 3-2 count, knew a fastball was coming because we don't want to walk the lead off, and, you know, did that with it. So – um, but I just went out there and I told him to, you know, be him, throw it hard, throw his best stuff. And it's going to get guys out. It's going to get a ground ball. It's going to get something. Just don't be scared to attack guys. And that's what he did. And that's how we got out of there. And, and Lyle had uh, career high strikeouts today. What did you think of his stuff uh, there through the end of the fifth? Yeah, he was, he was just moving it to both sides of the play really well, mixing really efficiently and just, you know, his tempo was really good today, just keeping guys off balance. So that was huge. Um, having those two starts back to back after the um, Friday night was really big for us. And just, you know, it gave us momentum. It got the bats rolling. So it was huge. Robert or Matt? I've got one more. You guys have lost three straight after Friday night and, and then to turn it around against a pretty good team. Uh, what, what was the key to that the last couple of days? Um, I just think when we weren't going very well, we didn't have a lot of energy and, you know, we kind of got complacent with where we were and we just weren't having fun. I think that was the biggest thing. And, you know, yesterday we kind of made it a point to just have fun, just be us, no matter what happens, we're going to have a good time. We're going to be, um, a lot of energy, up-tempo group. And that's what we did. And I think everyone kind of fed off that, um, bats and pitching wise. Robert, last one for you. The last couple of games you guys have had, uh, or you and Colin Smith and Jalen Battles have all had hits in the bottom of the order. Just uh, talk a little bit about the importance uh, for for the depth to come through like you did in the last two games. Um, yeah, that's huge. You know, we have a really deep lineup, one through nine. Um, you know, it starts off with Robert and Frank and those guys, good heart, and then good guys in the middle. And so it's it's big to not have a letdown. You know, you'll see some teams that have a letdown at the bottom. But, I mean, we got three really dangerous hitters, um, and it's huge. Jalen's been great. Smith's been great of just getting their pitches and hitting them hard, and they're going to find holes. And, you know, Cullen had a um, sack fly last night, which was huge. And just, just doing the little things, just older guys doing the little things right and just, you know, keeping, keeping the lineup going. Thanks for the time, Casey. Yep. Thank you all. We'll pick.